Hey everybody, this is Shadow Veil, vale, and uh, I just wanted to make this quick video about something that I just found in old footage. So, for Christmas, I'm going through some old like camcorder footage um, that's on really old like discs, and um, I'm trying to like make it digital for my dad for Christmas. I thought it might be something cool that he would enjoy. Um, that way, we'd, he doesn't have to play stuff off the camcorder if he actually wants to like go back and watch it. But it's a pretty daunting process, and um, I'm basically just watching, like, 10 to 15 years of Christmas. <laughs> My dad was the type that really liked to record, uh, you know, family events, Christmas, birthdays, like, sports, stuff like that. Um, but I came across a really interesting Christmas, um, and it's game-related, and to me, it means a lot, and... I'm just like amazed that this is actually something that I have and can look back on and and it's it's awesome. I love it. Um so just for some context, this is I believe it's 1998. Um and that was the year that um The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time was released in the United States. I believe it came out in November of that year, but you know, the plebe that I am, <laughs> and I was only a kid, uh, so I couldn't go out and buy it on my own, but uh, I had to wait to Christmas to get it, and this was one of the most anticipated Christmases that I can actually remember. I know one of my best friends growing up's brother actually got the game early, because he was older than us. He was probably, you know, 17, 18 by that time, and um, we used to just sit in his living room and just stare at the TV and watch this game in amazement. And we were n never allowed to touch the controller because his brother was so hooked on this game. And, uh, you know, I was just incredibly excited to for Christmas to get this. So I don't know how many of you out there ha are able to actually have this, see this, whatever. But, like, to have the Christmas recorded and me opening the present and seeing that game for the first time, it's it's just it's incredible to me. I'm just blown away by it. It this game is probably what really I guess like solidified me as a gamer, you know, just growing up and it's why I still play. I'm 30 almost 33 years old and I still play games all the time. And and I think this game is the reason why. So I'm sorry I'm rambling, but let's take a look at the video and I guess I'll just commentate on it as it's happening. Okay, yeah, so here's me opening up what I'm, I think is Link's Awakening. <laughs> I just hand it off to my mom, and she's like, yeah, let me return that. And then, here it is. I know what this is. I open it up, and I have an aneurysm. <laughs> I was such a weird kid. But to look back and see this game opened, and I'm actually holding the box, which is like the collector's edition version, because I'm pretty sure when it came out, that was the only version that was available. They were all the gold cartridge. You hear me freaking out here, like, oh my god, it's gold, it's gold. But like, that's what it was like when you were a kid. Like, everyone talked about it. Like, the cartridge was gold. Everyone was like, oh, my God, it's gold. But, like, I can, I'm telling my parents, I'm like, like, I can't believe it. I'm opening this box, and I just want to show them this gold cartridge. And so I'm, like, shoving my fingers in there, ripping this box open. I am now cringing looking at this because I wish I would have, like, kept that box in really good shape. I still have the game, but I definitely got rid of the box by accident as a kid. But here we go. Show my dad the game. And it's funny because my parents are not game players. My mom was not into games. My dad was not into games. They don't care. <laughs> it's only my excitement that makes this fun. But, yeah. It's just, I'm blown away seeing that. That's incredible. This was 1998. And... It's almost, well, it's 
2018 now. So what? That was 20 years ago, which is insane to me. Like this is t exactly 20 years ago this Christmas. So what a special memory. It's so cool. But that's not it. There is more and we will continue to it in just a second. So this Christmas um, was interesting because um, my mom is from Michigan and uh, her mom still lived out there, my grandma. So me as a kid, I was like freaking out because I just got Ocarina of Time. I was able to play it for maybe like a day and a half, two days. And then we were in the car driving from New Jersey to Michigan I, you, I don't even think you can imagine how tough that was as a kid, not being able to just like get in front of the TV and just sit there and play that game until I beat it. And it, <laughs> it was hard. So the whole car ride, I am probably just bitching and tearing at things and just like wanting to get in front of this TV. Luckily enough, my parents actually let me bring my Nintendo 64 with me. And uh, my grandma had a TV, so I was able to play. Now, if you look at this image, take a look in the back, and who's not being part of any, any of the family, you know, sitting here that's going on. There's a little kid sitting right back there on the couch, and look what he's doing. My dad is amazing here because I sincerely would never have thought that he would care at all to even zoom in and show this but look at the tv there it is this was legitimately like probably one of the first times i ever played ocarina of time i'm just enthralled with this game <laughs> oh god what an amazing memory i'm so happy that this exists and, and honestly i just wanted to share it with you guys I know it's not necessarily the same for everybody, but um, being able to actually have this footage and be able to look at that and see it now as a 33-year-old man is just like, it just blows my mind. Um, so everybody, I hope you have a great holiday, Christmas, New Year, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Enjoy yourselves, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.